but a few observations that I made that I want you to kind of correct so that you'll be able to uh, pick what you have and top up with what you also have. Now, for observe that when you are praying, you just speak only in tongues. Every prayer, tongues, every prayer, tongues. Paul says that I'll speak with my spirit. So I'll speak in tongues and then I'll also speak with my understanding. So I realized that even worship, everything, every prayer topic, you just go tons, 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 tons. It is good, but balance it. Balance, because scripture says that we have to speak with our spirit and speak with our understanding. And so, especially the people who will be leading the prayer meetings, try and then speak the English, the, the vernacular, and then come in with the tones, miss it. Then when we are worshiping, and you are speaking in tongues let us know that we are adoring god and that we are not casting out demons uh, and so just take things easy when you are adoring god let us adore let us take it easy and uh, so that we actually worship god we actually worship god and then when we are praying and we hold our hands don't let us behave as if we are chanting huh, 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 huh. no yes i mean you see, Christianity must be reasonable to those who do not even belong to our faith. They should look at it and find that there's some kind of reason in it. Don't let us behave as if we are chanting. And so please pick some of these things. And then I also realized that um, those who were leading the prayer kept distracting the prayer. Every, every second, hey, 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 every second, hey, 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 no. The supplicant should be allowed to pray. Let the people pray. So what we have been doing as a church is that you pray and pray and pray and then we bring songs in it as impetus to just picking up the prayer again and we pray. And so when you are leading prayer meetings, let the supplicant pray every second. And then the, the one lady will talk, talk, talk. No, no, we, we didn't come to hear you. This is prayer meeting. Let the people pray. You understand? So let them pray. And so when it's prayer meeting time, let them pray. Sometimes we do a lot of commentary and very little prayer. So let the commentary be least. And let the prayer go on. So in the Church of Pentecost, traditionally, when we are praying, we will start like you start. But we don't end like you end. We'll be praying because we'll come in with a lot of strength. Then we'll... But because the prayer meeting will tarry for a long time, after a while, you see that people are seated down and they are praying and sobbing. Because the one who will be leading will just give you space to pray. Then they'll be sobbing. Some will be weeping because he just led you to go before your own God. And in the presence of God, they will leave you to talk to your God. Let us try and cultivate this thing so that people will know that they have a personal God. Otherwise, they will always be dependent on the prayer leader. But the prayer leader is supposed to lead us just before God. You understand? Yeah. And so, just cultivate that habit. What will make you a strong Christian is when you yourself have cultivated this habit of going to God yourself. If your prayer is just limited to the congregational type of prayer, you will never experience God in, in, as he desires for you.